Well, I got the pawn patty stuff out of the way of the bench. Flipping moth flying around in here at freezing cold degrees. Anyway, um, now I'm trying to finish up these lids and get that material out of my way. So I can get some darn room in here. Get so many projects that aren't finished. So these lids, pretty heavy duty. Three quarter MDO plywood. MDO just lasts a lot longer. This is was seconds plywood. And then I'd already used it once for form boards. But it's what I got, it's what I'm using. Then I ripped uh, two by two pieces that go on the top. And they're runners. They protect the lid when you set another pallet on top of them. Um, they help keep the, the plywood from warping. A lot of these plywood boards, you get them on there with just a front cleat. And then they'll uh, they'll start warping and lifting and go kind of crazy. So then I've got the other ones had two by twos on the front lip here too. Problem is then I'm I'm putting a half inch rim inside, so that only left me just about an inch hanging over the box. So I ripped two by sixes down to fit over that, so it's got more alongside the box problem i've discovered already and there's always a problem some of my medium boxes have a cleat across the front um oh well, we've got one right over here they've got a cleat across the front that is just a little too high and when that comes down and sits on it doesn't close the damn lid um so anyway, if it's, you know, if it's not one thing, it's another round and round. But I'm going to get them finished, get them on, move forward from there, keep making choices and decisions. So once I get the, this project to this point, then I've got what were actually uh, fence boards. The, the, new, the new fence stuff is only about a half inch thick um the cedar boards and i had some a guy had given me i used on some and then i was at lowe's and they had uh they had a pallet of coal stuff getting ready to go and it had a bunch on it and it's like all right i'll buy that and go with it so anyway i end up with a rim all the way around like that that gives me a half inch space in here room to put a pollen patty um, other treatment and stuff up there just a little space on top of them. I tried to run some without this. The whole idea was I could put a pollen patty in between boxes and actually just lift the frames up without hitting anything, but it didn't work well. When they go on the box, they wanted to fall in the hole and not get on right. You, you kind of have to have that there. It could probably get away with being a lot thinner, but for now, that's what we're doing. So anyhow, this is the project today. It's just the horrid weather here for bees we're in the 30s is you know 36 this morning i think that out of 34 last night um i would rather have it in the teens because the problem with this is it's cold and they're clustered up but all the air is moist if it was colder yet the air would be dry so now the inside of my lids is just wet you know they're in there breathing trying to keep that box center of that box warm with nothing but wet air to warm and then you get moisture well if the lid's cold it's going to condense on the lid and it's going to get um be drippy so i have come up with an idea these water mats that i use for making my oxalic acid strips if i trim like a quarter inch off of these they fit right in this uh, hole that I've built right here and they're very water absorbent so a couple of them that I have tested up there and just looked at today the top the lid still has water condensed on it but it can't drip on the bees because it's going to drip into this water absorbing mat which may still be wet but it's not dripping on them um so anyhow, that's something I may do. I may throw some of those in. Um, there's other things that you can do to keep the water off the bees. 
I got one of these things. <coughs> it was kind of a cool idea. Goes on top of your box, another box goes on it, and then the water condenses and runs out the outside. Plus, you can look in and see them and stuff. And they, they just, they're a little pricey. If you're trying to do a lot of them, if it's just your backyard, a couple of bees, it's probably all right. And if you did this and then filled this up with sawdust, man, you'd, you'd be the cat's meow till spring when you got in and this whole thing was drawn full of comb. Um, but I'm, I'm thinking of another box that would allow that moisture to come out and then run out and drain out. Um, I don't know if I'll get time to work on it or not. But anyway, uh, it's the wet that kills the bees. They're, they're like we are. If they get wet, they can't get warm. So uh, we got to work on that. Anyhow, that's what I'm doing today.